What is the bridge that open mainframe is trying to build between new developers and this, you know, very stable, very mature technology? That, that's such a fantastic question. And I could see as you were asking that question, you were almost having the same struggle in your mind. It's a very bittersweet thing. It's a gift and a curse that the, that the mainframe is such an old platform. It's actually 60 years old this year. April the 7th was the anniversary of the S360. One of the things that um, IBM and is very proud of on, on the mainframe platform, so IBM is my employer, is the, is the fact that you can have written something 60 years ago and it still works today. Right, so it has this incredible depth of backwards compatibility, um, which is a gift and a curse because for any project to be successful, you have to embrace the, uh, the new kids on the block, uh, the people who are experienced in other IT architectures swimming in and out of mainframe. But you also have to make sure you don't leave behind your sort of incumbent, uh, you know, sk skills based and workforce and, and tools. And that's a balancing act, and we walk that every day with Zoe. Yeah. Can you talk about the role that mainframe is playing in today's modern world? We talk a lot about cloud native technologies, we talk about Kubernetes, but I mean, every time we do any transaction, you know, a lot of critical, it goes through one or two mainframe. I, I, I just want to make sure that people do understand. It's a really good question, yeah. I was actually at a little mini summit last, last night, having some pizza, enjoying some time with these, some of these wonderful you know, open source folks here and somebody came up to me and looked at my badge and said, oh, does IBM still exist anymore? I thought you used to make PCs. My, my grandpa has one in their garage, literally. And he, that the person wasn't trolling me. So you're absolutely right to, to do the level set. So when most people think of the word mainframe, uh, they generally think of the IBM Z16 platform. It's a very thoroughly modern uh, computing architecture and it's the backbone of um, transactional IT in the world. So. In terms of finance, uh, mainframe's customers are the, the banks. I love walking around Seattle because every time I look at, uh, I go, oh, that's bank XYZ or that's somebody else. You know, they're one of Zoe's customers. So every time you use a payment transaction or do, especially insurance, uh, systems of record, government agencies, um, they basically bet their business on the mainframe being a very secure um, uh, computing platform. But it works in concert with everything else you talked about, so Kubernetes. So in fact, you can run a lot of distributed non-mainframe uh, architectures and tech on the platform as well. So it has that blend of old and new.